I decided to come back and revisit this. Um, I also have autosave turned off, so I kind of forgot to save it. And so I ended up, I ended up just decided to go start from scratch again. So wel welcome back to some more NHL 24. Welcome back to the Dragon's Den. My name is Draconifor. Um, so I had to kind of resim some of the stuff here. So we are kind of sitting on a 2.5 goals against average and a 916 save percentage. And the boys are, uh, the boys are 2-0 and here. So I kind of want to see where this goes. Meaning that we're going to jump in to game number 3 of the round robin. So we'll see, we'll see what's up here. As promised with your brand on the rise, I have a nice endorsement opportunity for a cereal box. Sure. Always love being on a cereal box. Sure, we'll just, we'll do that for now. We got about 9,500 coming out of that cereal box endorsement. So, you know, that's, that's fun. All right, we're going to jump into this game here against the uh, Kamloops Blazers. Should be an interesting one. I hate tethering. I really do. I need to figure out a way to turn that off permanently. No, not hybrid. Good for a save, bad rebound up the middle, but I'll take that as is. I don't know if we got a shot there. I really don't. That's a good save there, good read through traffic. Another save there, oh shit. Oh, okay, I didn't know where the rebound was. I didn't know it was sitting right in front of us. Oh. How did that sneak through? This kind of took a... Uh, Kind of took a weird bounce. Want this one back, James. I thought that he was set to position. Just the blast of the shot, it hit him. He got a good chunk of it, but it went in. You can see oh, the I think it just the bounced language. off the glove. Yeah, I think it just deflected off the glove. Man, that sucks. Sliding save over there. Probably didn't really need to slide in the position there. But there's no T push option anymore. Another good save. Oh, 
entirely sure where we're shooting there. That short side blocker was kind of looking a little open. Shit. Oh, frig. I panicked there. I panicked. the post but we still I think we still managed to get a piece of it now thank God for the post there Just to bury one on the short side blocker there, and the Old Kings are up 2 nothing here in the first period. Luca Hoff. Yeah, just open up that short side blocker there. That's a good looking goal. That's a real good looking goal.
that was such a good first period for us. That was a really good first period for us. 11 shots, but snatch to stop all 11 of them so far. That was a really good period for us. I really did like it. So I just we just want to keep building on it from here. Blocker save, managed to get that to port somehow. Somehow we got a save on it and we managed to control that rebound somehow. What a freaking save. That was unreal. Hold on, I sorry boys. We gotta we gotta go back and watch this here. That was nuts. Just this this the slide over. And then just how we control look at that. Just bobbles off the glove. Behind us even. See, look at this. Look at look, look at this control. Make the save off the blocker. Off the glove. Goes behind us off the post. And we managed to find a way to cover it. What a sequence.
Good rebound, bad rebound, actually. That's, yeah, I didn't like that. Ooh. Cadu and the Edmonton Oil Kings are up by three here. Tom Cadu. I don't know how like that looked like it took a bounce. He dropped it perfectly and got himself set to position Jay. I thought he had it. He got a good chunk of it, but he didn't get it all. Oh maybe that was the bounce was, because I think it just hit deflected off the equipment, yeah. Tough go. Tough go. Jeez, boys, can't let Stan Coven walk, walk in front like that. Absolutely cannot let that happen, but we are dialed in. We have eyes on the puck like it's nobody's business. Okay, this is the second time my defensemen have almost put it in on me as I'm trying to get over to my next position. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of it. In front of the puck, follow the rebound to the next position. Look good. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Marshall Finney gets his first of the tournament, but that's because Ashton Furcher, first, Furster kicked it in as an own net. What was he kicking it for? Like, look, he just turns and then decides to just soccer kick it. Like, I don't know what he was doing. Boneheaded decision by Furster. Because <laughs> I thought I could get back over and poke it, but yeah, that wasn't the case. That's unfortunate. Oh my, what are we doing here, fellas? That was a bad, bad, bad sequence. But that'll end the second period. Of course, like, okay, yeah, sure, don't showcase any of, like, 
you know, the highlight saves or anything. It just showcased me getting scored on. That's cool. Yeah, that was that was bad. That that last kind of play there, that was um, that was not good. That was not good there. I kind of, we kind of faltered as a team in the second period there, but we were dominant throughout most of it. Just looking at some of these highlights here. All right, let's jump into period number three. save there. I don't like the way that they were weaving through center ice. Oh shit. Oh, how? Dude, how? <sighs> Bad read through traffic. Of course, it's Ashton the first or the guy. So the guy, so Ashton Furster has managed to score on his own team and on us. Not a good look. Boys, oh my jeez. I mean, I'm glad that Port didn't put it in his own net. God, that was ow, wow. Good luck to save there. Oh, okay, he shot it. I didn't even see it. I didn't even see the release.
Making saves, boys, making saves. Finney gets his second of the game from a, I think it was backdoor. I think it was backdoor. Mason Finney, sorry. Finley. Is there a Finney and a Finley? Either way, this nice play from 3-4 on the backhand. And Finley just buries it. Gives us the three goal lead here. 5-18 left to go in the period. Save there, good save. Still got squared on the puck. That went right, basically right to the middle. Pilling on the full pressure manages to net the sixth goal of the game and basically put this game away. Nathan Pilling from the corner just walks out in front and buries it on the backhand. That sneak to the five hole? I think it did. I don't know. It's not really a good angle. Big glove save, not able to get the rebound, and they score. We made a big glove save, but this wasn't able to capitalize on the rebound. I don't like the desperation animations in this game, but we're at a 900 save. So that sucks so much. We'll take the win. We will take the win. And that basically puts this team in the finals for the Memorial Cup. Three games, one all three, and that will take this team, should take this team to the Memorial Cup final. This is personally why I hate this is as a goaltending coach myself, I don't trust stats. Okay, it was in the final play. I don't trust stats a whole lot. I really don't. We're not going to get first or second star or third star. I don't think we were going to anyways. But stats are nice for players. They're practically useless. Yeah, Marshall Finney. They're, they're practically useless for goaltenders because you look at the stat line here. We had 30 shots against. 
made 27 saves, gave up three goals, so our save percentage is basically flat 900. But how many of those shots were actual good chances? You know, that's the problem. Like that third one wasn't a good chance. Wasn't 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 a scoring opportunity there. It was just dumb luck basically at that point. We played a really good game and that but that might hurt our uh, our, our our draft stock. Skill tree here. We got some trait points to to modify. Yeah, we could probably use quick hands after, especially after that goal. And we'll use a little bit of uh, diplomatic diplomacy. I think uh, never hurt nobody. So this sh should take this team to the finals. I would imagine we're gonna have a conversation with our agent. As we continue the conversation with Ray Ferraro, uh, the draft conversation is always an endless one over the course of a season. People can't get um, enough of you, Connor. Exactly what, what I expected when I decided to represent you. I got your new draft ranking uh, here. You're right in that the draft. We're first. Okay. So that game never really hurt us. We might beat out Connor Bedard. It's Connor v. Connor. Monday versus Bedard. Goaltender versus player. And so far, as a goaltender, we're winning. There were no scouting services. There were no public rankings. And these kids can't get away from it. Yet this. Okay, so it seems like we're playing cam loops. As we inch closer and closer to this Memorial Cup final. Again, I don't really care what uh, they have to say. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be us and cam loops again. So a rematch in the Memorial Cup final. Can't really see anything beyond that. I wish I could see like a tournament, uh, like a tournament uh, tree. But yeah, it's going to be us in the Memorial Cup final. The cam loops Blazers. Versus the Edmonton Oil Kings Battle of the WHL should be a good one. I'm going to leave it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more content. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.